It is a funny, funny story now, but that time it wasn't so funny. <laughs> We had a common friend and uh, we met through them, through him, uh, 20, a little bit more than 20 years ago. Uh, I uh, knew that guy from the university and um, as far as I know, uh, he was Tommy's uh, classmate, right? Yeah. This is how we started to talk together and, and went to a decision that let's start a new venture together. Our initial goals were to provide a sustainable and cheap voice over IP service for companies. That time, 20 years ago, this wasn't a common approach. And so it, it seems to be a great idea to start with this kind of uh, cost optimization business. And we spent a lot of, lot of time uh, working together because we both had a main job and we needed to work during the nights and the weekends. A typical day um, looked like that uh, we were from, from early morning uh, to late night. And many times it was very early when we, when we stopped working. Sometimes it was uh, 4 a.m. or something like that. I dem remember for the first really demanding customer and it was a very interesting experience because our system didn't handle that well. <laughs> and we had to run with Sabit to the hosting center during the night. Actually, we had to reinstall the server, repair everything. We finished at six o'clock in the morning. And as far as I remember, so we had to run for the customer, for a customer meeting for eight o'clock. So it is a funny, funny story now, but that time it wasn't so funny. <laughs> it motivated uh, me a lot because it was a really um, complex thing that we needed to work on. So we needed to uh, make business. I mean, we needed to acquire new clients. We needed to uh, understand their needs. We needed to uh, plan something that could solve their problems. We also needed to implement it. We needed to uh, support them. And it was a lot of opportunity to learn. We were able to hire more people. I mean, the first few uh, employees of the company. It made, made us a, a real company because before that we were just uh, two individuals who worked together. But from that time, we became a real company. This decision to, um, to change the business model from on-premise to a subscription-based model uh, was a game changer for, for many, many companies. Smaller companies couldn't afford to uh, invest a lot into, into tools and uh, servers and, and software solutions. But uh, with our solution, they were able to um, start their business without any significant investment. And this change was a game changer for us too, not just for our, our customers, because it allowed us to scale. Because with on-premises solutions, uh, it was pretty hard to scale. But this uh, new model helped us to scale without these obstacles. Uh, the contact center market has grown a lot um, during the several, several years. So it is really hard to uh, stay competitive and uh, we need to work a lot uh, to be able to provide a solution for uh, not only here in the region, but everywhere in the, almost everywhere in the world. While we have a very straight focus on where we are uh, looking for customers, we have uh, customers from around the world. And these countries need different ways of solving different kind of issues, like network latency issues, local data protection laws, and these kind of things, which is very interesting and at the same time very challenging. So it is pretty hard to serve all these customers in the same, on the same level, but we do, so we are on, on that and, and customers are happy. There are different areas that we can compete with uh, larger players. Uh, one of uh, the most important thing is obviously the product itself. I think that uh, our product is, is very competitive with other larger players uh, solutions, even if we have a, a much smaller team. It's pretty hard to find out the most important uh, features capabilities to develop. We have lots of lots of 
ideas with how to improve or service or product. I think it is key to choose the, the right one at the right moment. There is one skill uh, I, th I think which is very, very important to be able to uh, stay competitive, uh, which is listening to the clients. Uh, because uh, we have a lot of very experienced employees, but obviously uh, our clients are the ones who can tell us um, how they can improve themselves and uh, what they need to fight against their challenges. How we remain competitive? I can say only two words, customer experience. We work a lot on customer experience, either on the product side or either on the, the service by our key account management and, and all the colleagues working together with the customers. So I believe in, in this good relationship with customers, which is the foundation of, of our future success. The business has changed a lot uh, since the beginning. Uh, obviously, we have a larger team, uh, a great team. Being a remote company give, gives us the opportunity to, to become not just a Hungarian company, but a uh, global company or at least a regional company, so we can have employees from all over the world. If I can choose only one advice which I would give to my 20 years younger self, I would give advice to be more brave and don't fear the failure, because failures uh, help us to grow. I, I would advise myself that, that you can do it and keep, keep going. Many times we just didn't really think that uh, we can be such a, a big company that uh, we are right now.